NFL Sunday Ticket goes to YouTube in seven year, $2 billion annual deal. And it's gonna be valued at $2 billion a year annually, and it's gonna be over the course of the next seven years, which means that Google, i.e. YouTube, which is their subsidiary of Alphabet, of course, is gonna be paying roughly $14 billion over the next seven years just to own NFL Sunday Ticket. We're gonna talk in this video what NFL Sunday Ticket is, talk about the long-term growth trajectory of what Google's doing and how they're gonna continue this massive growth. Because if we go to my portfolio here and we look at my spreadsheet, you can zoom in here and you can look at what I have listed for Google stock. And you can look at different categories like they have with search, which is still growing very well year over year, YouTube, which finally had its first decline on a year over year basis, basically since the company's been reporting it since back in early 2021. And their cloud business is still growing very well. But many investors looking at their search business slowing down massively, only growing 3%, and then YouTube actually shrinking 2% in the most recent quarter, they're wondering if the growth is gonna continue. Furthermore, profitability. Looking at the margins, they're going to be wondering if those are gonna be maintaining as well, as in 2022, both of them, in terms of the services category and the cloud category, both of these have been going down. We're gonna talk about revenue estimates, profitability estimates, free cash flow, shares outstanding, and talk about how NFL Sunday ticket could be a wild card that could help turn YouTube into a shrinking business into a growing profitable business very soon in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Without further ado, let's go ahead and load up Google stock and look at their top line revenue and see what they've been doing over the last year. But before we get into all that, we have to talk about today's sponsor, Moomoo. Moomoo is a new up and coming brokerage that is taking the world by storm. Commission free trading, level two data, advanced technical indicators, earnings calendars to see the date of financial statement releases, and institutional tracking to follow Warren Buffett's portfolio are just a few examples of what Moomoo has to offer. With this being my first sponsor in the channel, I have fully vetted their company and stand behind their vision. Moomoo currently trades on the NASDAQ under ticker symbol FUTU for FUTU and is SIPC insured. If you sign up below using my special referral link, you can get anywhere from 1, 10, or even as high as 20 stocks for signing up when you use my special referral link down below in the description or in the pinned comment down below. Free stock amounts can be as high as $1,000, so sign up now using the link in the description or pinned comment down below. You would help support me and my channel by doing so and give yourself an edge in the world of investing. Thank you so much Moomoo for sponsoring this video. Now back to the content. Okay, welcome back, and let's look at the most recent quarter. Google put up $69.09 billion, which represents 6.1% growth on a year-over-year -year basis. Now, this isn't amazing, but that's not bad considering we're deep in a recession, and profitability is down, but it's not horribly down. It's down 14.12%, still putting up free cash flow of $16 billion in the most recent quarter. Now, one of the things that Google's been doing with its free cash flow is starting to buy back shares in a pretty reasonable way. In the most recent quarter, they bought on a year-over-year -year basis back about 2.2% of the company. I think this is going to increase. I think that very soon we'll see where they're starting to buy back 3 to 4% of the company as their buyback plan is starting to really ramp up. Furthermore, buying Google stock is the best time to be buying it now in terms of its share buybacks and where it's been over the last several years. Because if you look at a one-year chart, a two-year chart, a five-year chart, even a 10-year chart, when does it look like the big dip has happened? It's been here. In 2021 and 2022, the stock has been in a free fall. Meanwhile, while the revenue has gone higher and higher and higher, as you can see from this chart right here, the stock price has been going lower and lower and lower. And so buying shares at these prices in the 80s and $90 a share is much more efficient than trying to buy back shares at the 140, the 150 range. Now, while you've seen this revenue go up, this has happened for so many different reasons. And this is a perfect example example looking into these major tech giants as to why they continue to grow despite any economic environment. NFL Sunday Ticket goes for a deal of $2 billion per year from YouTube, which is i.e. Google, who is able to afford paying $2 billion a year in ease. Because once again, we look at the free cash flow. Last year, they put up $67 billion. So paying $2 billion a year for Sunday ticket is nothing. That's literally only about 3% of the company's profitability as of last year. 3% of the profits to buy out the entire Sunday ticket. 
Now, this was currently selling for $293.94 on average for DirecTV. DirecTV had a deal for many, many years when they owned Sunday Ticket and they sold it to consumers. But if you want my opinion, if I know Google, if I know YouTube, this is a huge platform. The two biggest search engines in the world, in order, are Google sitting at number one and YouTube sitting at number two. So that's why Google continues to grow and continues to have profitable after profitable quarters because they have so much eyeballs, so much web traffic going towards their platforms. And this now just adds one more deal, just one more line item to the list. Now they have all the major football fans who are religiously watching these games are now going to be paying millions, hundreds of millions, maybe even billions of dollars a year to watch these Sunday ticket games. If I were to guess, it would likely be in the billions of dollars, but we'll see how we structure it. In my opinion, $293.94, what DirecTV was charging. I honestly have no idea how YouTube, i.e. Google, is going to structure this. Honestly, I think they'll likely roll it into their subscription revenue from YouTube Red or YouTube TV or something of the sort. Now, this explains perfectly why Google will continue to grow, in my opinion. It's titled, A Clear Path Towards Sustainable Double-Digit Growth. And this little two paragraphs explains perfectly the situation for Google in just a few sentences. So let's go ahead and read it. Analysts expect Alphabet's revenue to rise 39% in 2021. They'll predict it will rise 17% in 2022 and 16% in 2023. We should take those long-term estimates with a grain of salt, but the industry growth forecast for the digital advertising, cloud, internet of things, and driverless markets all indicate that Alphabet could easily hit those targets and generate double-digit revenue growth every year for at least the next decade. If Alphabet grows its top-line CAGR at 15% over the next decade, its annual revenue may quadruple from its estimated $254 billion in 2021 to more than $1 trillion in 2031, one decade later. That growth might be interrupted by antitrust threats, platform changes, or economic downturns along the way. But Alphabet still has a path towards generating more multi-bagger gains over the next decade, even for investors who missed the last 10-year run. This sums up perfectly in two paragraphs why Google is going to be amazing over the next decade, in my opinion. Just look at this. Digital advertising. Will that be bigger in 10 years? Very much so. It's likely that that'll be bigger. What about cloud? Will that be bigger in 10 years? In my opinion, not only will it be bigger, I think it'll be dramatically bigger in the next 10 years. What about the Internet of Things? Same thing. It's probably going to be dramatically bigger. Driverless cars, that's the one still hiccup. Who knows where we'll be at that point? But whenever driverless cars become a thing, they're going to be one of the major big competitors in that space from their big multi-billion dollar investment into Waymo. So you see how I'm talking about. This major growth here is not just coming from Google search. Sure, that's their core business. Sure, that's going to drive the business in the short term. But these other categories, like YouTube, which currently is putting up about $7 billion in revenue a quarter, or you look at their cloud business, which is also doing about $7 billion in revenue a quarter. As these grow into a bigger, bigger piece of the pie, they are likely going to grow a lot faster. Google's overall revenue is likely going to grow to much higher levels. And the great part about this business is their return on capital employed. This blue line right here. Let's look on an annual chart so we can get a better idea for this. And then we'll go to the quarterly. If you look on an annual basis, this one year is an exception because advertising levels just went to sky high levels. So we can kind of accept 2021 as a one-off, but we'll look at 2022 and you'll likely be surprised. So going over the last decade, or so, you see that generally return on capital employed for Google sits around 15%, which means for every dollar they invest into the business, they get a dollar and 15 cents back. But even if you look at the most recent quarters, despite the recession, you can see that it has started to go down. But even right now, the return on capital employed is still producing 6% roughly a quarter, which is absolutely great to see. Furthermore, the profit margins and the operating margins have gone down for Google, don't get me wrong, but they're still putting up very good 20 plus percent profit margins and the operating margins are still coming in at around 25 to 30 percent. So Google is still operating efficiently. They're a company that's still buying back shares despite the high level of share-based compensation that they are currently having to pay out. I think they'll get this control and they will continue to grow profitability faster than this. And while they are starting to pay a lot back in share buybacks, this company still has over a hundred billion dollars net cash on the balance sheet that they can use as a weapon to compete with all their other competitors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Buy Google stock if you haven't already. Check out all the stuff down below in the description, including Moomoo for 20 free stocks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you all next time.